Look at that. They fight. I'm trying my very best to feed these guys on a daily basis. Yeah. And the thing is, when you feed fish this big on a daily basis, you have to do many water changes. Hence the noise. Look at them fighting. They're fighting to see who can assert the most dominance to become the alpha of this tank. This guy is super aggressive. So is that guy. Look at that. See? I think you know the alpha male is. Yeah, literally. Kitty is the person with the most testosterone in this tank, which is kind of funny because your name is Kitty. Now, the situation also is, look at that. Chill out. Relax. See? I have to distract them for them to figure out what's going on. And the guy, there's someone doing the lawn out here, blowing all the stuff in here. But, Slayers, what I'm going to go ahead and do is use a trap to catch some fish with Wild World of Farley. And with this trap, hey, buddy, how's it going? Oh, look at that. Like I was saying, guys, we need to make sure that this territorial issue is null and void instantly so to do that you gotta make sure everyone's happy and healthy and fed therefore they can't move because they're too busy trying to digest all that food so with that being said let me shut up and go ahead and try to save these fish by stuffing them up with a lot of food what do you think let's do it stay well then all right slayer so we made it to the spot and we have our giant container Whoa. we're gonna go ahead and capture these fish with a net now when i'm talking about capturing fish with a net i'm talking about not an ordinary net i'm talking about a net that is known as a cast net now what's really cool about these cast nets is they are traps themselves there's different ways to use them if you open it up completely it has a six foot radius i'm not doing a good job in opening it right now but this net is a perfect trap for fish i don't know if you guys can see that but once it's dragged out completely, it looks like something I love to eat for breakfast, and that is a pancake. <laughs> you know? Now, what's really cool about this is if you pull this, it actually closes up. Therefore, it traps your fish. So what we're going to do is, to, in order to save Whiskers, my beautiful Marvel car from being harassed, as well as Teddy from being harassed, is we're going to have to fatten up all of my fish. And to fatten up things, you got to feed them. And you got to feed them a lot. And it seems like it's just not enough. I'm feeding them crazy amounts of food. So, let's go ahead and have some fun and use this net trap to catch some fish. Alright, here's the last bucket. Yeah, yeah. We already caught some fish. Did we? Yeah, little minnows. Look at them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Small Let's little mosquito them. fish. Nice. Look. You guys should heart. start liking these videos with this heart. Heart, heart. So, guys, here we go. First throw with our net trap. Here we go. Here's the one, two, oh. just like that. It's open. Like a cake. That was nice. Now we wait until it sinks all the way to the bottom. Then we pull on this line specifically designated to trap all of these fish. Let's see if we trap them. I see some glimmer. I see some shimmers. We have a couple weeks. Oh, Let's yeah. Let's see. Oh, man. At this rate, we're going to have to be throwing one million times. Hey, <laughs> pipe down, bird. We're making a video. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw all of this stuff right here. Oh, we got something big. We do? Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Again guys, these baits will be used to help me train my fish from hurting each other. That's the whole point. Fish are friends, not food. Well, well some. these fish are yeah. food. Yeah, yeah. The other ones are friends. So now, let me show you what we got here. Prime baits right here. Look at these bluegill. Huge baits for giant game fish nice. and everything like that. But these fish, like I said, will be fed to our monster pets. So, time to go ahead and reset our trap. All right, Slayers. So, I want to show you guys how to set your trap. Okay? You're going to make sure you have a security line. A watch? No, not a watch. Security line. Okay, I got you. So, what you do is you grab this line here. Mm -hmm. You run it through here. Yeah. Put it over your wrist. Nice. Tighten it like you want to go ahead and cut it. Yeah. Then, you want to go ahead and have this line here for extra safety, just in case your net trap flies away. Mm -hmm. Now with the line, you grab the line at certain lengths and make these little circles in your hand to go ahead and have enough line for your net trap. Now you pull the top of this net trap that has this beautiful color right here, green, yellows, whatever, red, blacks and whites. Everyone's happy in this sight. <laughs> and you go ahead and make sure your net trap has no tangles, okay? You don't want tangles like these. Look, come check out this tangle right here. See, that's a tangle, that's no bueno. Should I wiggle that out? You wiggle everything out. You go ahead and hold it just as tall as you are, depending on the size of your net trap. This net trap is six feet long. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and fold it over. Then you grab on one side, then you grab another weight to your net trap. Yeah. Place it on your thumb. What was that? I missed it. 
I don't know. But anyways, like I was slaying, <laughs> um, you go ahead and grab one side and open it up like an umbrella. Then you use momentum with the weights. You kind of swing it, swing it back, forward, and twist. And you open nice. it up like IHOP. Open 24 hours. <laughs> so we just wait for the pancake to go ahead and sink all the way to the bottom. And that sets our trap. So our trap is right there at the bottom. Now it's time to go ahead and pull to make sure we scoop up whatever's at the bottom of that trap. Come on, any friends at home? Come on. I don't see any shimmers or glimmers. I don't think we have anything in this trap. Oh, right there's now. one. There's is that grass? There's one. Oh, we have one. Okay, there's one. There's one. We'll have one. We'll just jingle that one out. There we go. Oh, I see him, little boy. We got the one little baby. It's not bad, not bad. So, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Look at that. That's a smaller version of the bigger bluegill we have at our viewing tank. So let me go ahead and throw this guy over here. Balling. Money all day long. I think this particular spot right here holds the most amount of fish. So if I drop the net trap, we shall set it. Look at that. Nice. Good. That was good. Now we set it. Wait a few moments. Let the wind pass because the wind will move all the fish inside of the net trap. We wait. We hold. It's sinking. It's sinking. It's sinking. Guys, I think I got something big. Let's, Let's see. It's gone. Let's see. All right. One. Two, three, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh I see some, I see some, some flickering, some glimmering. Flickering and skimmering. Oh my god. Oh my Are you serious? God. Massive. This is massive. Massive stuff in oh. my net trap, guys. Whoa. Not the only thing that's massive on this channel. Yeah. But boy. I am a guest today. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a couple species here. Ooh, I was wondering what was going on here, guys. Ooh, wee. You got a big boy. Got big one. Very big, very big. So let's hold this big tilapia. Very invasive. He, oh. oh! He's trying to go back home. No, no, not on my net. We don't want to go ahead and have that net trap get broken. So this one's nice and chunky, like me. <laughs> and we're just going to hold that right there. This nice. is what we got in that net, that net trap throw. Not bad. Spotted tilapia, regular tilapia. Both and you got a leaf? Oh. Thank you, appreciate no that. So what we're gonna do here is actually put these to the side. These fish will also feed our monster fish, but I don't want to put them in the, you know what, let's put them in the tank. No, why not? Why not? Oh, oh! oh. No, at least he got it this time. Oh, oh he's about crazy. to jump. Oh, relax! He's gonna jump. There we go, we got the other one. Free willy. Free freaking willy. Not bad for a couple of night traps. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is again, set that trap. We live. Farley. Yeah. Wow, where the farley? What's up? Exact. Where shall we go ahead and set this trap next? Catch some grass. I mean, over there, where the weeds are. Where the weeds are. Yeah. All right. Here oh, you go. really did it? We'll see. Trap is set. We shall wait. I actually meant the weeds, but that works. No. <laughs> see, the thing is, you gotta be very careful with this net trap because, because, because it can be penetrated by rocks. Yeah. If that net trap's on rocks, it's game over. You lose your whole net. Wait. I see we're loaded up again. Come Ooh. on, come on. Ooh, oh, there's weight to it. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, I think we caught... I don't know. Nothing but hope. Yeah, nothing but hope. Oh, oh, oh. I saw that little glimmer of hope there right there. There it is. There's the glimmer <laughs> of hope. Let's go ahead and jingle yeah, yeah. that guy out there. Perfect. Oh, oh. Oh. Look at... Oh, oh. Come on, really? Oh, oh. oh, oh. You, uh, you okay, Pony? I'm good. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. One, two, a three. That worked out a lot. Her, yeah. Load it up. But that's not enough. We must throw the net one more time. One more time. Set that trap. Alrighty, guys. We're getting all loaded up for that final throw. You think we get something? I think so. Getting a little sweaty. No worries. Here we go. I think the further throw, the farther throw might work. Come on. Stuff is moving around. I feel it on the line. There's bubbles coming up. Anything fighting? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, what's in here? We got. Well, I see at least three. We have what we need. But what is all this? Salad? Oh. Oh, it came with some salad. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and see what we're going to do right here. All right. We're going to add this salad to the bar. Really? Gotta make sure all One, of the two, little fall in. Look at that, see? Boom. We are set to go. 
guys, no more net trapping. I think it was successful that we used this net. Now it's time to go ahead and save our fish from hurting each other. So I'll meet you back at the house. All right, Slayer, so we made it back to the slate pad, and unfortunately in transport, we have lost some members, but worry not, guys. Again, the purpose of today's video is to train our fish to not fight with each other. Now come check them out. If you zoom in on that back fin right there of our marble Carl Whiskers, he's been getting beaten up by Teddy, which is the red tail tiger show, but nose hybrid to the right. And then of course, Kitty is putting him in line. You guys saw earlier that one of them is trying to establish dominance in this tank. So we don't want him to fight. I don't want him to fight anymore. So I went ahead and got some live bait. And these live bait with my nice net trap was prime. You guys saw that net trap was beautiful. And what I love most about this pond is they go, all these catfish come to my calling. Here comes Teddy, here comes Kitty, here comes Whiskers looking for food. Now, I've never fed them live. I usually do pellets and tilapia and shrimps, scallops, the whole nine yards. Nice, very expensive dinner. Ollie, can you go ahead and pass me one of those bluegills real quick? I'm trying to get my, my sleep wet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. Here you go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh! Well, there goes one bluegill. See you later. But we still have Teddy wanting to go ahead and eat. We're gonna make sure that they're all nice and healthy so they don't beat each other up. Go ahead and pass me another bluegill, my friend. Can't lie. Jeez. You okay there, kid? <laughs> Hold on. It's all about the quick and easy finesse. Look at that. Come on now, kiddo. One job. I'm sorry. One job. I'm sorry. Come, Yeti. Come, Yeti. Come, Yeti. Oh, oh, I thought Yeti was gonna come hand feed. That would have been the first time you guys saw it. Come on, here, kitty. Kitty spooky. Can't lie. Come on. Anybody? Marble Cara? Marble Cara? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. scooped up. Good job. Good job, kitty. So, we have kitty. We have Teddy. We have. You, you, want, you guys want to eat more? You guys, oh, you guys are hungry? Let's go ahead and see if you can actually get one since these things are too elusive for you. Look at that finesse. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. That's better. All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Stood no chance for Kitty, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and fatten them up. I have some tilapia and everything like that. We're gonna make sure everyone's A-OK, -okay, nice, hungry, and healthy. Look at Yeti, Yeti wants to come up and eat, buddy. Dude, we gotta get another piece. Here you go. Oh my goodness, this Kitty is a monster. There's a couple other ones that have escaped. The little guys over there, they're on the surface. There comes Yeti again. He hears that pop and he knows what's going on. Look at Yeti. Go get him. Go hunt, my little child, go hunt. So we still have a couple bluegills left. So I was thinking we should have some fun and watch them attack from a different angle. Come on. He's pissed. Oh! <laughs> Just popped it out. Huh. Almost caught that one. Look at that. Here. <laughs> Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next Slay Adventure. Booyah.